What's up guys, today is Friday, so um, I drove all the way down to Orlando today. So I'm doing a pit stop here at JetBlue University. So I'm stopping here at JBU. There's a graduating class today at 12.30. It's about like 11.55 right now. So I'm gonna head in there in like five, 10 minutes, go grab a tea or a coffee. But last time I was here at JetBlue University, I told you guys they were doing construction in the back. So I'm gonna show you guys what they're doing. I mean, it's just a big cleared area, but this is where they're doing the expansion and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys that. And then supposedly I get to pin Chris's wings. His name is Chris, so you know, another Chris, because Chris is the best name. Right here is where they're doing the construction. And so they get some work to do. So I guess they're gonna be expanding JBU here. So hopefully by next year when I'm here for a recurrent, we can uh, show you guys a new place. But see you guys in, see you guys in JBU. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. You wanna say hi, Kevin? Hey. Kevin. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your class 1419. Alyssa Alatore. <laughs> Susanna Askelson. Way to by Michael Keith. Samara Barksdale. Amanda Beard. Wings and Happy Death Snyder. To be honest, some of us had doubts. Some of us were scared. Some of us who probably haven't gone to Sunday Mass in a while went to the nearest church to get a rosary. They got the little beads trying to go like this. And some holy water just to pray we made it to the next day. Like, please, Jesus, let me pass this next day. Everyone can in this room can remember the second test, KSV number two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much work went to study Airbus aircraft. The local dollar store probably ran out of flashcards that night. We raided that dollar store, let me tell you. Some of us had large poster boards. We draw on maps and layouts at planes. Some of us had songs. Some of us went in a unique direction. I'm gonna mention Janet over here. <laughs> Miss Janet, who created a background story of each craft and gave them names. At first I thought it was interesting. I'm like, who is Susan? Who's Nathan? Who's Cora? Who's Sarah? But later on, I saw that her mention that actually worked. Now I can't look at my min plane and think of the name Susan. <laughs> Vanessa, Matt over here, Nestor, Diana, Cindy, and I even had a game for the emergency equipment called Who Is She? <laughs> and which named the emergency equipment and its purpose that quickly caught on to the rest of the class. Many of us got into study groups, some of us staying up until 4 a.m. for an 8 a.m. class. I'm not going to mention any names. <laughs> We all got each other snacks. We cashed out at the little snack bar over there, created our own little makeshift simulators, quizzed each other, and rehearsed drills and emergency situations. That continued for the rest of the four and a half weeks we spent here. There's two things I learned from being in study groups. Sharon, I'll take that application for that JBU instructor position. <laughs> I think I just got a job at a JBU instructor. I don't know how a little study group that ended up becoming my after school class. 
But it started as a small five-person study session for the first KSV, MSV, ended up being almost a 15-person class taking up the four-floor break room on the last KSV. For those of you who have attended my classes, I'll be sending a bill to your mailing address for the sessions you have attended. I take credit, debit, and Apple Pay. You can pay me on my iPad using the TS4 eGate app. But on a serious note, study groups have brought us to what was considered a small class even closer together. We supported each other when one had an obstacle on the road, whether it was an off day or some of us had to do a retake. And I know some of us were like nervous about that. I would always hear my fellow crew members say, we are not letting you fail. We are going to get through this training together and we will graduate together. And did we did. During MSVs, we'd always send messages of support before it was a fellow crew member's turn to go. We have a really diverse group of people here in this small 34 people class. Some of us already with JetBlue, like myself, Jerry, Diana, Edison, and Ponce. Some of us with flight attendant and Susie. I forgot your name in there. I forgot to read it. But I got you, Susan, I got you. <laughs> Some of us with flight attendant experience like Janet, Samara, Marlene, Jeannie, AJ, Randy, Chris, and last but definitely not least, Tracy. And some of us who are just new to this industry, like Tammy and Debbie. Y'all were so, you know, asking questions a lot, and you know, y'all are just like asking clarifying questions, but you guys are so new to this job that, you know, I think all of us are just encouraging you to like push forward, and this is like your new adventure, so. I think you chose a really great company to work for. For those family and friends with those loved ones today, don't be surprised when they're talking to you in a whole different language, all those acronyms and jargon. Trust me, it's gonna happen. They're gonna tell me like, oh, I went to MCO tonight, and oh, I was on the 3 2 wham it was crazy, I was in the G4B galley. You're not gonna know what that means. <laughs> it was even more uplifting seeing that compliments of old booths all up. Whether it was a CBT or module, or just even a good laugh, I think we can all agree that Nestor and Francisco have made us laugh and brought us some comic relief to the class when it was getting stressful. <laughs> Let me just say that looking from this podium, I'm proud to see this class in their JetBlue uniforms and earning their wings. I think we all are. Now, I don't want to get so emotional like Whitney Houston, like Sasha Balour in this part, but I just want to say to my fellow crew members that I am honored to be part of this class and the journey we have shared together. I want to say that wherever you go from here, whether it's the onboard lead program, special assignment to a promoted position on that first flight to you, or even the impossible getting a line in Long Beach, I know that your fellow classmates know that you can do it and that there is a bright future ahead. For those guests joining us at JetBlue, we have a culture centered around our five values. I think our class has embodied those values of safety, caring, integrity, passion, and definitely fun, and definitely TEM. <laughs> I think Sharon and the rest of the JBU faculty can agree this was probably the best in-flight class of the year. <laughs> and I didn't pay them to say that. <laughs> To the JBU faculty, I just want to say on behalf of this class, we thank you for your support. Tim's not here, but we would snap his fingers at him. To the Lodge staff, we thank you for your words of encouragement and being our cheerleaders. And Jane, we just give a last round of applause for anyone who has supported us throughout this journey.
So we just did JetBlue graduation for class 1419. Um, I didn't get to pin his wings, Chris's wings, because uh, I guess he had to be in uniform. No one, no one gave me the memo. So uh, we did a little impromptu wing pinning over here. Uh, this is Chris. So say congrats to Chris. Aloha. Uh, this is Melanie. Hello. Melanie Sang. She has a YouTube channel as well. She just started vlogging here at JBU, just like myself. I tried to do some videos on the side beforehand, but yeah. they, didn't, they didn't work. <laughs> but uh, congrats, Chris. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, Chris, for coming. Next time, I'll remember to bring my uniform. So this is always trial, you know, trial and error. But, you should uh, come back in two weeks and do mine. It's in two weeks? Yeah. When is it? It might be in November 8th. I'll be in St. Martin. Uh, yeah. That sounds better. Yeah, but I, I'm going to leave St. Martin. I'll be back. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. You want to tell them about your YouTube channel? Read your name? Sure. So I'll I'm Melanie Singh. At the bottom. Yeah. Cool. I have a YouTube channel. Um, I have lots of videos. I do videos on like going to Disney, um, vegan recipes, uh, traveling. I vlogged every day. I went to Iceland. That was really cool. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Check out her channel. I'll put it down in the description and then I'll put her name right here as well. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck. You guys want to be in the vlog? <laughs> no? Sure. I don't know what to say. Um, hey. Kevin and then Lara. Lara. So Lara's here at training. Kevin is a graduate. He's just here checking out uh, graduation. Uh, so how's training going so far? Oh, we got like two more weeks left. So we're kind of getting, getting into the, the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, the emergency evacuations and medical awesome. stuff, things like that. That's awesome. Pushing through. I actually got class in like 10 minutes. So. Okay, well, I'll let you get going. Oh yeah. Nice to meet you. You too. Kevin, how you liking uh, working for JBU? I working for JetBlue. JetBlue, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. He doesn't work for JetBlue University. My bad. JetBlue. I like it. You do? I, it's a very good culture. Very. Everyone's very friendly. I've uh, gotten a lot of options as far as going to different bases. So yeah. I definitely like the experiences so far. I am currently in Long Beach. So nice. It's cl semi close to home. So it's just definitely a good culture there. And then. Going back to Boston, being in here. December, yeah. So we'll see him in Boston in December. Hopefully, work a trip with you. Yeah, yeah, man. All right, so we'll see you guys in a little bit.